hello guys so today we are going to look at how to plot the gifts diagram will cost us sl and piper I okay. so i'm starting with the by the aqua chem so that you know how to use the aqua chem to plot the piper after that i'll do for the diagrams also then i'll, I'll skip to other diagrams okay so i'm using i'm using aqua chem to plot the piper software for you okay so let's begin with that let me close one okay so you come here the first thing for you today is you come to open like new project new project microsoft access or something just let's go we don't do anything so what you have to do is enter the data your, your database enter the name any name at all that you want to give to what you want to do so let me just say tutorials or let me say just um a short video so let me just say short video then next that's the name that i gave to the file okay so over here don't select anything just be going next this is the location where they are going to just if you don't want it to be here just you can just browse to change but i'll leave it as just as it is next then finish then it's going to create a new project or a new page for you to start with what you want to do okay as i said earlier my machine is a little bit slower so uh, it's really uh, forgiving with this uh, delays and other stuff okay all right so this is the page that has given to us so the first thing to do is to import your data okay the very first thing to do is import your data and this is what we use it okay you can you see the everything here import data you can see that when i put it on you can see import data you see import data so you come here you click on the import data samples general or image they are samples okay so you click okay specify the file name so you click here to browse and select the file that you want to use okay so my pro is a like, uh, where do i even find it okay so let me go to this desktop and i have it named as excel yes this is where i have my data so i've selected it and over here you change it to sample as row or column analyze values per row no sample as rows or columns just click on this one then you click on next over here first results so they're asking you measured unit value starts in column which of this this column does your measured unit like your parameter start from you can see from here we have sample id longitude latitude then the units then we have the sodium here so this is the measured um, parameter that you're asking for so uh it begins with the sodium this okay then you go to next okay so they're asking you the units source of your unit so the units are placed in units that was the title that i gave the, the particular excel file let me go and show you the excel file so that you don't be confused oh i need to close it else it won't work after this i'll go and show you where or oh, let me search for it here excel so this is the data that i'm using okay so you can see that my units are here they are placed at the column this particular column you can see that unit unit here that's why i'm choosing unit over there okay so let's come back so i chose unit here as the source of my unit column then you come here they're asking you sample name you click here to select the sample id the sample id that's where i have my sample names okay sample id that's our sample one sample two sample three that's it so wherever your sample name is just select that one also okay then they're asking for sample station then the sample stations you pick location okay when you are done this it was already here sample so you click the next one sample analysis then at this particular place to parameter id you pick 
parameter id you are going to pick column zero column zero contains let me go back and show you something look at column zero you see column zero here that's where we have our parameters sodium potassium calcium like you can see them here that's why we are picking um column zero over here okay so you come to the sample analysis here then you pick column zero as your parameter id okay then you come to the sample id you can just pick your sample id again then that is all for here for those using the current version if you are using this particular the 2024 or 25 version this one will take automatically please deselect it okay let everything remain blank, uh, blank like this then you move to next you are good to go okay you are, you are good to go if there was an error you, you could see this danger sign here that it will appear here that there is an error you need to change or something you need to see something but there's nothing there is no error here so let's continue so over here what you are going to do is you are going to match the data you look at here you come here they will give you so you see sodium this one they don't have those charges on it so sodium over here any is any here you pick it then you click on enter or you double click it this is so a uh, potassium click here potassium double click it just matching them calcium you click you go magnesium so this is how i do it so i'll just skip it or i'll just do it fast fast so that the video won't be that very short it wouldn't be that very long sorry or you can set for it here for the eight you you see the eight two is no here so just set for eight c and it will come okay huh. or the cl2 if you are not seeing it you can just search for it so4 is not here so just type in over here s o and it will come okay you have no3 is not here you can just scroll down to search for it but if you don't want to waste time just type the no and it will come okay ec ec is electrical conductivity so just type e it will come your conduct electrical conduct today is it select it and we have ph ph is a ph field what you measure in, uh, in the field so just take it and f fluoride is already selected already for us so that's it we proceed to the next our source is magnet uh, milligram per liter and the same thing over here so we just move on okay so these are our samples they are telling us we have 35 records so 35 samples were selected as shown in the file they were 35 if you paid attention over there there were 35 samples sample analysis also everything is here so let's just move on okay so import everything is okay 35 385 samples so let's finish by this things okay so over here when you are done you come to plot new plot and you see this the plus sign here this plus sign just click on this thing you are going to see all the all the diagrams that you can plot over here okay so this is piper for us and this will cost for us okay so either of them that we want to plot you can just choose them from it so let's we said we are beginning with the piper right so let's go for the piper you select it and it will come automatically like this So this is it okay there is a piper plot it is already done so what you do is look at the caption over here that's not how you want to caption it okay so to do this let's go to select piper, piper again okay so when you are here we have general so when you come to the general over here the title is here look at the title but it's already it's in you can't select you can't edit it over here so unless you on take the auto title if you want take it it will go then you can just delete what you want to delete and leave what you want to remain over the piper maybe piper plot or something you get it <laughs> then the color whatever that you want to do you can just do all those where it should be aligned center right left wherever that whatever that you want to do you can do them over here okay so when you are done you apply then you okay it okay then it will, it will appear here nice like that okay so this for the piper so when you are done and you want to export it also you come to this side here so let me show you, you for that one you come to this place export 
if you click on the export this one will appear okay so if it appears here they are asking you are you going to export the whole plot collection the this active or the current what i thought you want to export okay so we want to export this current page okay or this active plot then they will ask you have uh, output path you come here or the size that you want just browse here to where you want to save it maybe i want to put a desktop the name is figure piper let me just do so that i can identify that save so when we're done you can just click on the export image generated yourself do you want to open it yes let's open and see what we had we name it what figure piper there is it so let's see what we had so this is our figure piper okay so this one was there you can take it out when you are doing your uh, sporting thing you can just click on the edits here to cut that place out and even with the piper when you are done with this one you are not done that's not all okay so you can just do this to take that part off So this is how to plot the piper using the aquacam software okay but for my piper that i showed you you could see that you could see that there was um, labels look at it you see there were some labels inside a b c d and other stuff okay i will show you how to do how to do this particular when we are using the origin pool, uh, origin pool to plot it okay uh, in the in the aquacam we don't have what uh, we used to do that particular parameter editor. We can you we can't do that particular editing here. So we have to leave it and go to the um, the other plot. Then we do it. So what? Let's look at how to do the workers also. So the workers you come here. You select the workers also. It will come the name that you want to give it. You give it. You deselect the auto title. Then you give it a name. Workers. You apply then you okay it and it will come like this okay by note you see they are giving you sar against what conductivity and when you plot sar against conductivity it's not workers do you get it if you plot sar against conductivity it's not workers it's ussl diagram this is what you need to note okay it's uss diagram so the name here is workers do but it's not local so just come and change the title so you don't get confused okay it's what ussl okay so you apply and you okay it and it will come like this so now is the usl for piper is sodium percentage against conductivity okay so once you are plotting sar against conductivity it's not locals it's ussl okay you can make reference from other place that you think so the same way if you want to save it because we've already seen the first one so the location is already here so you just come to export it and it will just go do you want to replace with them no we don't want to do that so let's go and save it again but to the same place we'll figure out this usl then we can save it it will ask us to open and we will open it and see what we had okay so let's export it yes then you see what we have figure workers where is it figure workers refresh it figure piper where is figure workers yeah figure usl so so there is it there is it okay so we are done with the usl also so this is how to use the aqua chem to this is how to use the aqua chem to plot both the workers and so i bought the usl diagram and the usl diagram and the piper plot okay so this is how to use the aqua chem okay so we are done with the usl and aqua chem let's leave here let me just close it do i want to save it no okay so let's look at how to use um diagrams to plot this also okay so we're going to look at, we're going to look at how to use diagrams to plot the gaps no sorry we are going to look at how to use diagrams to plot workers usl and piper 
okay we'll cost us or empire how to use diagram to plot this 